the Armada Universal Combat Platform family of vehicles was revealed in 2015 during Russia's iconic Victory Day Parade. T-14 Armada MBT has been widely discussed and the word Armada is not linked to MBT only. It is modular program, called Armada Universal Combat Platform, which will lead toward revolution of whole Russian armor unit types including tanks, infantry fighting vehicle, armor personnel carrier, self-propel artillery, recovery vehicles. The purpose of the new platform, is the creation of a single chassis that would be the same for all the Army tracked armored vehicles, including standard engine transmission installation, chassis controls, driver interface, unified set of onboard electronics, life support systems. This level of harmonization, at present, has no analogs in weapon systems abroad. The aim is to provide common equipment and training to lower the operational cost. There are two major variants of the Armada the T-14 tank with the engine at the rear and remaining versions having engine located at front. This video will focus on different vehicles being developed under the umbrella of Armada Universal Combat Platform. T-14 is a MBT on Armada chassis incorporating a number of innovative characteristics, including an unmanned turret, crew of three seated in an armored capsule in the front of the hull and carries a 2A8 to 125mm smoothbore cannon as its main weapon, rate of fire is 10 to 12 rounds per minute, both the chassis and the turret are equipped with a Malasha dual explosive reactive armor system on the front, sides and the top. The tank uses an integrated, computerized control system which monitors the state and functions of all tank modules. For defense it features Afghanit Active Protection System, which includes a millimeter wave radar to detect, track, and intercept incoming anti-tank munitions, both kinetic energy penetrators and tandem charges. Tank is powered by a diesel engine developing 1500 horsepower. Weight of vehicle with standard configuration is 48 tons. The T-15 is an infantry fighting vehicle, designed to keep up with main battle tanks and bring infantry rapidly into the fight. Importantly, the T-15 is designed to be fast, and well protected with steeply sloped frontal and side armor. Engine is located in the front, further protecting its estimated payload of 9 troops. The IFV further benefits from the overlapping active and passive protection used on the T-14 MBT. This vehicle is no lightweight when it comes to firepower, hence designated as Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicle. There are several remote weapon station variations including a respectable 30mm autocannon, coaxial 7.62 PKT machine gun, and four improved Cornet M anti-tank missiles. It can be equipped with a much larger 57mm gun as well. Another variant is Kurganets, which is armor personnel carrier with weight lighter than T-15 and power by 800 horsepower engine. IFV version of Kurganet has same turret configuration as that of heavy T-15 IFV, while the APC variant is more lightly armed with a 7.62mm remote weapon station, and does not appear to have the Afghanit active protection system. It is amphibious as well with a retractable wave breaker and two water jets that are located quite low on the rear of the hull. Beside infantry vehicles there is also a self-propelled gun called 2S35 Kalitsa SV, also known as Coalition SV. It is designed as a variant of the 2S19 Mistra, with an over and under dual auto-loaded 152mm howitzer. With automation Kalichsa can reportedly fire up to 15 to 20 rounds a minute. This self-propelled gun require only 3 crew members compared to 6 required in current guns. Estimated ammunition load is around 60 to 70 rounds. It can fire rounds up to 80 km range using precision guided munitions and up to 40 km with standard rounds. The 2S35 is far superior to classic SPGs, but rather a highly robotized system, with a high degree of automation. The 2S35 has a unified command and control system with which all actions are displayed. 
the system can automatically select the appropriate shell type for a task and the amount of charge required. Another support vehicle include T-16 Brem T Armored Recovery Vehicle, BM-2 Large Box Type Multi-Barrel Rocket Launcher, UMZA Combat Engineering Vehicle, MTA, Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge, as, the Armada program is a universal chassis system intended to serve as the foundational element for the Russian military's next generation armor force, but there is a major problem currently faced during procurement that is huge cost associated with this revolution, like the T-14 MBT, these Armada Universal Combat Platforms suffer most from significantly lower than planned production numbers. Until these vehicles delayed from their schedule induction, cost per unit will increase, further discouraging increased production.